I was born and raised in a hotel in Paris, and in the attic was bits and pieces of the old restaurant of the hotel. And I grabbed all that, put it in a container, and built for my first restaurant. There were quite a few French restaurants in New York when I came here in 65, but the decor was very elementary. None were done in the early century, 1900. Bistro style, and that's really what I wanted to express because I was born and raised in that milieu. My name is Jean de Noyer. I'm a restaurateur. I've uh, built about 35 restaurants. It's not that I look for a restaurant. I have to come across a location that talks to me, which I can relate to, that inspires me, and then I can't resist. I have to put a restaurant there. Since Rockefeller Center is a temple of Art Deco, and since I'm a big collector and big fan of uh, Ruhlmann, I thought I would do a homage to Ruhlmann and once I finished it, I decided I could call it Ruhlmann, that he would not turn in his grave and say, De Noyer, what are you doing to me? I discovered Ruhlmann back in maybe 69 or 70. I was in a traffic jam in Paris, uh, Rue Bonaparte, and that's where Félix Marciac has his gallery, and he had a Ruhlmann piece of furniture in the window, and that attracted my eye. And I came back the next day and looked at it very closely, and I knew I liked Roman style. He would take an 18th century piece of furniture and just slash it and sharpen the angles. So he's very pure. Very often I've looked at a Roman piece and wondered how I could possibly improve it. It was not possible to improve it. The guy is, to me, is perfection. I don't know when you call a collector a collector. I was merely trying to furnish my apartment at the time. Well, one of my favorite pieces is my Ruhlmann piano. Ruhlmann did very few pianos, and they're all very remarkable. It's a very important piece. It's very pure, it's to the point, it's flawless. I have uh, pieces by Jean Dunant, by uh, Eugene Prince, but Ruhlmann will always be my favorite. The advice I would give to a new collector would be to express himself from his heart. It has to come from within. It's something you can't explain or you can't pretend. It's, it's there. 